What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about an issue that's been going on on Amazon recently, the last week or two, and that is reviews either disappearing from listings, accounts getting banned for fake reviews. Now, why are they doing this? What can and can't you do? A lot of people feel scared to get reviews, which you shouldn't be. So I'm going to tell you guys exactly what to do, and I'll leave a link in the description to kind of the article I'm referencing. Uh, it was by Viral Launch. They did a good article kind of explaining everything right now. So recently, Amazon removed hundreds and thousands of reviews from listings, some big accounts in all different kinds of categories. Product listings lost reviews. Now, it was a mixture of verified, unverified, pretty much everything. If you don't know the difference between verified and unverified reviews, verified just means they purchased the item on Amazon for less than 50% discount. Unverified means they either didn't purchase it on Amazon or they got more than a 50% off coupon code and hence the review would not be verified. Now the way you can tell these reviews very quickly is you can see verified purchase down here. It shows that's verified. This one doesn't say anything, doesn't say verified any of these. None of these people purchased the item on Amazon or they did but they got more than 50% off for a discount. So we still don't know exactly why Amazon has been deleting all the reviews, but we do know some of the new changes, which they have not announced yet, but just some things you should be aware of when selling on Amazon. So Amazon's policy for reviews is you cannot do incentivized reviews. So I can't say, hey, I'm gonna give you 10 bucks if you review my product, or hey, I'll give you this product for free in exchange for a review. So a lot of the popular ways people were getting product reviews, asking friends and family, asking people on Facebook, and even more so on top of that is reimbursing people after they buy your product so you get a verified review. All of these are highly, well, some are illegal, some are against the terms of service, all are against the terms of service on Amazon. So I'm gonna read you some of the new rules that are not set in stone yet, and these might change a little bit, but this is what it currently is at. Again, referencing the article in the description from Viral Launch. So the new daily review limit. So you can only receive three unverified reviews in a day. Um, if you're doing more than that, that ASIN, so that product will receive um, a block from unverified reviews either for that day or for a week. Again, it will vary and depend. And then receiving six or eight verified reviews in a single day. Uh, Amazon will block the ASIN from any additional verified reviews, which makes no sense on Amazon, especially big products that sell a ton get more than six or eight real reviews a day. Um, competition can just leave a bunch of fake reviews on you and you get banned. So this is not something I see sticking. Um, again, this is something people have tested and seen on products. Now, that's just something to keep in mind. Maybe don't get a large influx of unverified reviews. As soon as you launch your product, go for two, three a day and build up from there. Now at the end of this, I'll tell you guys everything, what you should do. Um, again, it's gonna be hard to say, but the next kind of change they have is reviews. They're slowly switching this, but reviews are split by variation now. Now, what does that mean? So the listing I have up on the screen, there's two different variations of it. There's this blue one and then the black one. Now, when I click in between, the reviews stay the exact same it's all the same reviews. However, they are going to start splitting these where the blue one might have a thousand reviews and then the black one has 1700 and one could be five star, one could be one star. So they are splitting it by variation. The next thing that Amazon's doing is banning accounts for review manipulation. Now we don't know their exact kind of setup for how they find these accounts. They know if you're friends with people on Facebook, I know that for sure they can get that information. And there's a lot of linking with sometimes reviews just won't stick. You won't always get banned. However, the minimum they are now doing for any review manipulation is minimum a 21 day ban. Um, sometimes even more could be a full suspension or I should flip those suspension ban. And one of the other things that recently changed is that seller feedback is now moving to a rolling 12 month system. So what that means is when you're in your seller account, and you're looking under your feedback, so people can leave a review saying, okay, proc description matched well, shipping was good, blah, 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 the seller was helpful, et cetera. That is now a rolling 12-month system, so you will not have anything on there from over a year ago. 
Now, some people are mad about this. I think this is a good thing because then accounts that are maybe old and that data isn't even relevant anymore won't have that benefit. Now, for fulfillment by Amazon or FBA, this is not really a big change. This won't affect many people. But for retail arbitrage and other things, when there's multiple sellers under one listing, you can see their seller feedback and their percentage. Now, let me see if I can show you an example really quick. So if I click on this listing, you can see there are 23 sellers. That is not the right button. There are 23 sellers. And if I go under it, I can see what their total review rate is. So this guy has 7,000 five-star reviews, 99%. This guy's only 85% positive, but 67. So if you're in here trying to keep compete with other people, that can be a factor, but I don't see that as a big change. I see that as helpful, especially if you get one or two bad ones over time, uh, you're learning and you can start doing better. So those are the main changes right now. Now, what should you do moving forward? Now, moving forward, right now, things are changing a lot with review wise. Now, is this gonna be the end of Amazon or anything? No way, not a chance. But just move slower when it comes to reviews. If you're currently trying to launch a product getting reviews and you're asking random people in Facebook groups, Amazon shut down multiple Facebook groups for that and caught those accounts and banned them. So Facebook is not the platform to ask for reviews anymore. It used to work. Now you can't also do incentivized reviews. So you can't be asking people say, Hey, I'll give you this product. You have to review it in exchange for that. That's an incentivized review. However, you can give away products, never mention anything for a review and hope they leave a review. So that is one option. And if you're just launching, if you just do a slow giveaway, two, three units a day, you can start PPC and make it convert even with just one review. So if you can get one review, that's fine. If you ask friends and family outside of the same state, I believe that that has been fine. I've never had an issue with that, but they might start catching on to that type of stuff. Again, if you're connected through Facebook, if you're friends, they don't always catch it. Obviously it slips through but it's not worth the risk. And one other option you have is the Amazon Early Reviewer Program. So this is in Amazon. So if you're under the Advertising tab, it's the Early Reviewer Program. So what this is pretty much is a way for you to launch your product and get reviews pretty quickly. So what Amazon does is reaches out and tries to contact and incentivize people to review your product who have purchased it. I know, ironic, since they say it's illegal on their platform, but Amazon, will give a one to three dollar gift card, they say, to people who leave a review, an honest review, on the product they purchased, which was yours. So even if you have five sales, Amazon reaches out, tries to get those people to leave a review, and incentivizes them with a gift card. Now what it costs you, so this is for five reviews. You can see right here, they say one to three dollar Amazon gift card after they submit a review. Now it costs you $60 one-time fee for five reviews. Now, you're not gonna do this to try and build your reviews the entire time, but this is a good initial way to launch and get some sales started and going, get those five reviews, and then you can build on top of that once you start getting more and more sales organically and with advertising. Now, things not to do. Don't use Facebook groups. Don't be friends with people on Facebook who you're gonna ask for a review. It's just asking to be caught. Do not reimburse people, especially through PayPal. That is trackable. Amazon has tons of information and I'm sure they could get that if they know who you're friends with on Facebook and a ton of other information along those lines. And do not ask anyone who lives very close to you, who has logged into your Wi-Fi, who has been in your house, any of that to leave a review. A lot of times, again, the reviews won't stick, but if for some reason they do or they see that attempted a lot, they can ban your account. I've gotten a message for having uh, attempted doing too, too many unverified reviews when I was first starting. So you do not want to get an account ban and not be able to sell on Amazon because you wanted a couple extra reviews. Reviews, while they are important, you can still get sales with a low amount of reviews. I was able to rank, I think it was three different products with under 10 reviews on the top three, all of them. I got one to the very top, which had two five-star reviews. If they're good reviews, they're five stars, and your listing is good, your marketing is good, and you chose a good product, that should not be an issue. But obviously the goal is to grow them over time with email marketing and other methods. But at the current moment with things changing and you're not knowing really what Amazon is doing, just move slowly, be cautious, and just be smart about it. If you think it's against the rules, it probably is. And you can always contact Amazon and ask. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure if you're new, you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.